welcome back to Dana's Repair Shop. Well, on the old Bronco, 78 Bronco, and she's kicking my behind. This thing here has been, uh, it's been a real aggravation. Uh, sometimes it'll run perfectly smooth, and other times it floods out and uh, or backfires and through the carburetor, backfires through the exhaust, and then other times it runs perfect. So I've been doing a few things, uh, checking the carburetor I mean there was an issue with the power valve there's no doubt about that it was uh, it was leaking around the power valve gasket uh, doesn't seem like you can buy a good gasket for these anymore anyway so I replaced it twice now the power valve gasket however it is backfiring to the carburetor so that could kick that out the power valve itself is good so what I'm at now I even um, down to checking timing um, I'm down to that part of it electronic ignition timing I want to fill you in a little bit. There's there's new plug wires. There's new distributor caps. There's a new uh, Jurspark box. Uh, new spark plugs. It's all been new. The only thing I haven't replaced is the pickup coil in the distributor. I've had the part. There's no broken wires. I am I have ordered another one because I'm at the point of throwing parts at it. So uh, what I'm trying to do right now is make sure the timing hasn't jumped. But anyway, while I was doing this. Uh, Time in checking, I was like, well, there's, there's got to be a better way than taking the valve cover off to make sure you're at top dead center. So I come up with a way, quick and easy way to uh, to check, to make sure you're at top dead center and make sure the valves are closed without taking the valve cover off. Gene, I did a smoke test, so I have the smoke machine out already. So that's what we're going to use in this to check to make sure that the valves are closed on number one cylinder at top dead center on compression stroke. Now, I did do a compression check on all these uh, cylinders. That was one of the first things I did. And they're all running like 140, 145 to 150, every one of them. So I'm, it's not the compression. So I'm down to oddball stuff now. I checked the timing gear on the distributor, make sure that the roller pin is good. It's all good. So I just want to bring you in a little bit and show you how I'm checking to make sure that nothing has shifted in the timing with the timing chain or with the harmonic balancer uh, you know the timing numbers are on the harmonic balancer apparently these uh, 351 m's and 400 engines and cleveland's as well have been known to shift that a little bit on the rubber so right now i have it set up at uh, top dead center on the compression stroke with the harmonic balancer at zero degrees there should not be any the valves open at this point in time. So we're going to check them quickly and we're going to use the smoke leak detector. Well here we are. This is the smoke leak detector. Uh, it's a hundred dollar one off of Amazon. Cheap. Works really well actually. Nothing fancy. It's got a little compressor in it. Puts a little pressure on. Makes smoke. Makes a lot of smoke actually. And I'm just using baby oil in it. Number one cylinder spark plug out. And I'm going to show you if I can see it. If you can see that. There's the marks for 10 degrees up there, that yellow mark, and it's, she's sitting on zero degrees. So that's all lying up. But what I don't know is, are the valves closed? Has it jumped its timing? Now I did do a socket and a power bar on the crank, and it didn't feel like the timing chain's even loose. It's nice and snug, but you never know. The distributor's out of it right now. Um, you'll see right here, uh, the pin is good in that. I checked it all. The distributor has nothing to do with this right now. That's after I get this all checked. But what I'm concerned about, are these valves closed with this in the top dead position, top dead center position, and the timing chain is in good condition, and this hasn't slipped. So I'm just trying to confirm, without taking the valve cover off, how to uh, check to make sure that's all in there. So I'm going to use a smoke detector. So what I have here is uh, it's just my compression tester set up. So I'll put that in number one cylinder and we'll smoke that cylinder. And if the valves are closed, we should not get any smoke out of the exhaust or out of the carburetor. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got my uh, adapter in, in the uh, number one cylinder. I've got my little smoke doohickey right here so it's just going to fit in there nice and snug sort of like that but I'll have to hold it in so let's turn on the smoke detector 
So it's on. We'll wait to give it a little bit of smoke. Doesn't take very long with this thing. There it comes. All right. There, she's in there tight. Now what I'm looking for is smoke out through the carburetor. And I can hear the uh, compressor in the smoke detector bogging down, so it tells me that there's pressure in that cylinder. Now, no smoke whatsoever. Now I have a vacuum hose this around here. There's one down in here. There's no smoke coming out of that vacuum hose. And it is directly right in front of that number one port right there. So that's good. So I know that the timing marks are all on. So let's just see what happens when you pull this out. There we go. Tons of smoke coming out. All right, shut that off. So now uh, I know without taking the valve cover off that at top dead center, the timing marks, the timing chain, the timing marks on the harmonic balancer are all working the way they should work. So it's not a jump timing situation. So what I want to do, I just want to drop back one cylinder. I'll go back to the number two cylinder and I'll just demonstrate what it would look like um, if it did have a valve open. So I'll get set up for that. All right, I'm set up on number two cylinder. Now, number two cylinder um, has an intake valve that's slightly open, partially open. So we, we will see how this would work if, say, number one and the timing was out. Um, you can also I'll have to check your exhaust to make sure that it isn't an exhaust valve, but I happen to know that that one's open. Um, so that would be the same for the number one. If Just because you're not getting it out through the intake, it could be going through the exhaust. So you'll have to make sure you check that. So let's turn on the, uh, the smoke leak detector and see what comes out of the carburetor this time. All right, there's our smoke. There we are. Now, shouldn't take very long. So there we go. So there would be what it would look like if your timing was off. You would have smoke coming out of the carburetor or an exhaust port exhaust pipe and there's lots of smoke so I know by doing this smoke test without taking the valve cover off that uh, my timing is good all right that's all I wanted to show you here I'm going to continue on trying to figure out what's going on with this darn thing thanks for watching hopefully it was helpful